Ha! Friends and family, welcome back to the channel. It is the morning after Carpet Fest. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, well, you should go back and watch it so you can see what happened yesterday at Carpet Fest. We still got lots of people here. Garrett and I today are going to build shipping boxes for the snakes. We've already been to Home Depot. We got all the supplies that we need to build them, hopefully. I told Garrett we should get an extra sheet. He agreed, so I think we should be good to have everything that we need. Hoping to get them done today. Hillary does have to go to work soon, so we may or may not get them all built in time before she leaves. Luckily, we still got plenty of people left over from Carpet Fest who could help keep an eye on the kids while we finish building the boxes. So I think even if we don't get them done before she has to go to work, we should still be able to get them done even after she goes to work. So that's that would be awesome because then Gary could get ready for all the shipping stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna pass on some information to you guys about. The proper way to do it and what what you're supposed to do. Garrett knows that stuff. He's done it a lot. I've never done it before, so I'm going to be learning a lot today. We're going to be doing some construction of the boxes that we'll take you along for and show you the the complete end to finish, including as you saw on the price there, how much it costs to get this stuff. We're building two 24 by 48 boxes, and they're both going to be split in half. Come on in, bro. I was just telling people about the boxes that we're building, and I was also mentioning uh, the fact that you are likely going to be doing most of the building hence I, since I've been out of construction for the past t couple years and I've been doing a lot of filming and I've, my filming chops are high up you've been doing a lot of building I was supposed to be like the project coordinator here <laughs> yeah yeah this is vacation oh yeah it's vacation I'm supposed to eat pizza and watch Brandon handle the pie and you did that part already watch you build the boxes watch me build. I can build them too but you have to run the camera as well as I would be running the camera easy <laughs> also, these these folks are still here too. They haven't taken off yet. This is Brian and Kathy, How's and going? and you guys want. I, I want to tell the story of. It's a similar story how Brian came to find me as far as how I came to find the the hobby when I came back from the island. I think right, right. Yeah. Am I am I right? Yeah. Just, exactly, just yeah. say say what's up. Just yeah. So up. ten years ago, we were into corns and boas. We were breeding them and had. Uh, a little over a hundred animals at one point. Sorry. It's all right. And uh, some things came along in life that forced us the sale, quick sale of those animals and just kind of figured we were behind that chapter. But we, uh, we have three young boys that are into it and excited. So we're now getting back into the hobby. And, and when we came back in, it was awesome to see a, uh, an amazing community of people that um, showing up here in person it's just incredible to meet these great people and and uh but anyways yeah so i came back into the hobby and looked on youtube of course and found brian and fell in love with the retics and found garrett and so many great people like i said so and one extra incredible detail i'd like to mention not only his name brian not only does he spell it correctly <laughs> two of their sons are named eli and noah is that That's not a trip? Right. That is a trip and a half. Yeah. And and you guys are awesome people too. Like, Thank you. So it's like great to have more awesome people to add to the collection and that know how to spell their names correctly, know how to name their kids properly. <laughs> Do what we can. <laughs> and as usual, I'm just the professional third wheel. Can I hold a baby snake? Uh, yeah, you can hold a baby snake. I'll hold a snake too. I'll hold the... The queen. She just laid eggs. Can we can we hold somebody else? How that one? I want on it on my neck. Bye, Triple B. Say bye to Bradley, everybody. Wish him safe travels back to his home state. We're gonna fly out in about five minutes. <laughs> Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Young wings. What's what? Younglings. Baby yeah. dinosaurs. Younglings? Yeah. What about younglings? That they hatch out of eggs and they're the name for a baby dinosaur. And they're cute and if younglings were still alive, then they would bite ya. <laughs> why would they? Why would they bite ya? Because they might think you were trying to attack them, and that's how I know. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. I 
Eyeballs? Yeah. What about eyeballs? But they have a stick on them and it points this way and that's why now. A, st a stick? Eyeballs have a stick? Stick. Not a real stick outside. Just a red stick. Eyeballs have a red stick? Yeah, because on people's stuff. Oh, and you finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you guys know anything about this red stick on eyeballs? Leave a comment down below. I'm holding it. Like, it's like a little red, like, thing that, like, is red and it, like, leads inside your head. Oh. oh. Optic nerve, I think. The like little wires. I get Eli just doesn't didn't know the name for optic nerve, and to be fair, neither did I. <laughs> when you ship the pie to the tiger back and Gary, you're just gonna pop the dividers back in there and then get some more carpet pythons to fill those cages, right? <laughs> what are you you you, you uh, biased? No. I was pretty serious about Garrett building these cages and me filming it, but it really does sound like he's pretty serious about not wanting to build the cages. And I can understand. He's not, he doesn't want to do much work. I mean, he's been hanging out here on vacation, just relaxing for the past few days at my house, and I've been doing all kinds of work around to make sure the house is clean, everybody's taken care of. So I can understand, you know, why he feels like I should be doing all the work. Um, I've been feeding all the snakes for, like, the last two years. Everything just everything makes sense that I should be the one that does the work and it let him run the cameras and he hasn't been filming at all in the last like year and I've been filming like every day and he's been building stuff for the past year and not filming as much. It's, everything's making sense now. Right, T? What do you know? So nice. Can Daddy have kids? Hey. I think Garrett needs more coffee. I'm trying to remember. I built so many of these boxes, but it's been, what, five years or something? I probably built 200 of these boxes, but I'm trying to remember how each piece goes together. I asked Noah, I was like, hey Noah, you want a rice cake? Or, or something to eat? He's like, no, I've got work to do. The width of the bottom. I'm writing this out so I can. Is that English? Yeah, it's, it's, this is making sense in my mind. I was recording for the, for the saw. Film. I had the microphone that. turned down. So, some, there was another mark <laughs> on this thing. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just say it one more time, Garrett, like you mean it. All right, just get him cutting and then I'll do it. But then I gotta change the. God damn it, I told you I wasn't ready with the microphone. You guys put the saw in the wrong spot. The lighting's horrible. I'm just ready to start screwing stuff right, already. Right. That's what I got for you. 41 for the bottom. What? I want you, to start you told me 22 by 46. Start screwing stuff. Do you want to do something? So while we're down there building the box, which is fairly easy, it's just building a box out of plywood with some sticks, gonna put, punch some holes in it with some screen and some handles. We'll show you the finished product when we're done. It's not rocket science, it's just building a box. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, you can look up any place, how, how do I build a box online, and there'll be a much more in-depth video about how to build a box out of plywood and sticks than this video. We're just showing you the, the meat, the, we're not showing you the meat of it, we're just showing you the little fancy parts. We'll show you the, the process a little bit when we're done. But what Kathy's doing over here is arguably more important than the box itself. She's making some custom snake bags 
out of sheets, doing triple stitching, making sure the bags are secure so the snakes don't get outside of a bag when they're inside the box, which would end up being somewhat of a problem. But so what she's doing here is arguably more important than our boxes right now. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Garrett's unfortunate uh, reality has been realized. Hillary had to leave for work, so I, I can't work anymore. I gotta take care of the baby. I thought that's what Kathy was for. Kathy's sewing up the bags. One thing <laughs> at a time over here, but one thing at a time. Come on, T, let's watch them work. <laughs> this girl's looking great. She had that shed the other day, as you guys saw, and She's looking all fired up right now. She's probably gonna be the first snake that we put in because she's the biggest and she's not old grumpy up there. So it'd be a little bit less work to make it happen with her and uh, get a good size fit and make sure everything works with the bag and safely get these snakes off to the East Coast. <laughs> a little bit bigger so what we'll do is her and the platinum will go here it's gonna be smaller once we put the foam in obviously so it'll be a little bit tighter which is what you want and then we'll pack it in with paper and stuff so that we don't get leakage here we go that's a little heavier <laughs> looks pretty good do that again <laughs> oh. yeah. sit down Ooh, say hi can you pet it? And pet the snake in there. Hi, snake. Woo! You see him moving? Woo! Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. That took a bit longer than I kind of ex expected it to. Is there a. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Is there anything you wanna add to just. I mean, it's a simple built box build. We got holes cut for ventilation that we're covering with screen or with mesh. Um, That's it. You know, the big thing is like. If you use brittle material, like the biggest, I think, no-no that most people do is they use those plastic tubs that are cheap to buy and they zip tie them shut. The problem is those are brittle. So if you drop them on a corner um, and that thing cracks, and you, I mean, you can imagine snakes on a plane. It's like a bad movie. So um, there is a website called IATA. Uh, it's either .com, .gov, or something like that. But it's government regulations. It's the same regulatory agency that covers dog kennels and they actually have instructions on how to build uh, the appropriate shipping box for reptiles so i think that's where people go wrong i mean it's cheaper to use junky stuff but you know i mean if you, if you need to save this much money i mean we're shipping literally an entire adult breeder project uh, of reticulated pythons here so it's going to cost a little bit to ship it that's I mean, that's all there is to it. Do it right, you know, and uh, never have any problems. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us today. And, of course, always a big thank you to Garrett for coming out and, and uh, dealing with me because I'm, I'm a lot to deal with, as, as he will definitely attest to. <laughs> but also for always being a professional and having really educational content to um, come and vlog on our channel when he does I his. appreciate you taking care of those snakes for me, dude. You did an excellent job. Right on, man. I, I, I did my best. So. I'm going to send you back a little pied baby, the meanest one out of the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha.